Have you looked at the movie Martian and wondered what would it be to be Mark Watney? How would it feel to be on the Martian surface, sciencing things, researching things, building bases and whatnot? Well, this game that you can actually play today has got you covered. Occupies Mars Beta is currently, as it says, in the beta state, and it is by Pyramid Games, and it's actually running a Kickstarter campaign right now. So if you back them up, you have a chance of actually getting the game and experiencing Mars for yourself. I'm so fortunate here to bring you this, and I will be really happy to show you how does it feel like, and I'll give you a game preview, what the start looks like, and everything that. So let's get right into the meat of things. So... There will be multiplayer co-op in the future, it's being worked on, and uh, the game, as I said, is in right now in its Kickstarter campaign, but we're gonna go with a free play. Now, I have played it a little bit, and I don't know what these middle settings mean, but I'm gonna go difficulty level, I'm gonna say to middle. Wealth of resources, I'm gonna go with middle. Weather effects, I'm gonna go with low here, because uh, tornadoes are not really fun on Mars, so... Technological knowledge, I'm gonna go with minimum. Consumption of player parameters, I'm gonna go with low because I'm not sure. Okay, and then let's say uh, I'm gonna go with somewhere, stop with starting equipment. I'm gonna go, devs, if you're watching this, some additional things would be handy. Let's go with the builder one. And for the landing site, you can actually select multiple places. I'm gonna go with the Cerberus. Don't know what it is, don't care, let's get right into things. So, the game begins with you in a drop bot on the way to the surface of Mars. Feels a little bit, to be honest, like Icarus from Rocketworks. It's a fantastic game, but uh, and it has survival elements, and this one, I believe, has two. However, rather than landing on the lush planet of Icarus, you will be landing on the barren surface of Mars and trying to survive and also build a base, research, explore, build, all those good things. So, what I really like about this, I played roughly an hour and a half or so, that this game actually is almost like grounded in reality, it's almost like a simulator of being on Mars. So, right now, as you see, we are descending onto the Mars surface, features being distantly present, retro rockets firing because obviously you cannot land on Mars just with the parachutes, well at least not as of today, retro rockets firing and I really like how you know the sunlight has been occluded by a layer of dust, uh, really yeah, landing sequence completed. I have gone with the middle ground difficulty. Like I said, I'm a noob here, but I really want you to experience this through my eyes and so on and so. So quick overview of their interface. On the top, on the bottom left, you have your parameters, you have your name, you have your suit oxygen, exterior oxygen, health, stamina. On the bottom is your bar and on the right hand side at the bottom, Obviously, you have a compass as well, and then you have hunger, hydration, and also a little bit of a guide, what you need to do. So, it says that we need to grab our tools. One of them being the blowtorch. Then we're gonna go with, uh, what did they say again? Did they say, okay, we want to have a grinder. Grinder is used for disassembling things. Then we want to have a jackhammer. New item. And then we need to take the spectral detector. I just seem to have an airlock iris for some reason in my inventory. Don't know why. So I'm going to take the spectral detector and I'm going to place it. Incoming message. Right. So the next order of business is to collect and build our old items for, that we need for building. So I'm going to pick up everything that we have here. Let's see what else do we have. Let's turn on that flashlight that we were so fancy on advertising so aluminum plates steel plates glass plates so various kinds of plates okay let's see what else do we have here we have the small engines 29 of them it's wonders how they all fit into the capsule what else do we have here nothing here here we have some electronics good some grout then we have some solar cells, and then we have a pack of screws. First uh, playthrough I did, I forgot this pack of screws and it backfired badly. Okay, that being said, I think we have everything that we need. So let's open up the capsule door. The rest of the stuff we're gonna just get later on. Incoming message. 
incoming message collect any box and here we have some starter boxes to get us going early on let's see what it say collect any box i think i'm gonna need this okay so you say let's see what do we have here we have the battery pack transformer medium solar panel well a couple more medium solar panels workshop and small rock crusher so there's plenty of things that we need to be building I'm actually thinking that the first thing that I'm going to need is we need con can collect any box. Well, I'm going to collect, let's say, the medium solar panel because usually being experienced in stationers, I know that the power is one of the main requirements. However, on Mars, apparently we have to find the water spot. So new message. new message. OK, there's a water spot. So we will mark it using the Y. All right, and that brings it and that puts this is on our radar, which means that right now, if we go right track, track, and I'm gonna put it red just so it's a little bit more visible of an icon, and then we have it marked there. Beautiful. So the next thing that we wanna do, I'm actually gonna take a well as well. Okay, I'm gonna take the well as well. Sounds fun. Look at the Martian surface. Baron, I mean, oh, there apparently is some derelict base or something there. So clearly we're not the first there, but um, oh, there's another thing over there. There are lots of derelict bases. Interesting. Let's enter our rover, see what else do we have going here. Yeah, this is the rover and this is the thing, as you said, you know, playing as Mark Watney. Oxygen source external. See, oxygen source external. And this is a cool rover. You can actually drive it around. Look at it go. But our water spot seems to be really close by. So I'm going to get out of the rover. And I mean, the game held hand holds you a little bit. So it tells you go to the water spot and equip spectral detector. OK, sure. I'm going to do that. Incoming message. Incoming message. You need to build a well. So with that thing being said, I need to think about the layout of my base. So I'm going to build a well. In my inventory, I think I have a well. This is a well. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to place that one somewhere. Let's say, um, I would think my base should be protruding on that side towards the left. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this somewhere in the middle of the field. Probably doesn't matter exactly where I place it. Can I place it one more down? Sure. And the inputs would be on that side. Yeah. Sounds good. New message. New basic building, see? So now we should build a basic rock crusher workshop, four solar panels and a transformer. Now, when it comes to our um, boxes, we want to go back and pick up some of the boxes. Maybe it would be more efficient that we take it into the, uh, into the rover, but I mean, it doesn't matter. What we do need, we want to take first care of the power. So battery pack, yes. And transformer ECU. It's still daylight, so you really want to start building while it's daylight, the solar panels and everything that. So yeah, we're gonna go and build a solar panel and everything else. So from the inventory, I'm gonna take my solar panels. I'm gonna leave the blowtorch because I will need it for the construction. I'm going to put the battery pack and the transformer ECU. So if I think about like this, uh, my base will be going from here onwards and this will be a side structure. So let's put in the side panels. So solar panel we place like in a grid. One. I'm going to place second one right here, pointing in the same direction. And then we're going to place the third one somewhat like this. Okay, so that's the four solar panels. Then we want to be placing the transformer. And transformer will be close to the solar panels because I don't want to waste too much cable. So we're going to place it here, followed by the battery pack because the batteries obviously need to get power from somewhere and they will be sent, power will be sent from the transformer. So there we go. Now we need to connect this thing. Let's take a cable 
and we just open up socket like i said it's really a simulator in terms of connecting things and building things on mars so we're connecting now the power loop so to say and we're gonna connect our solar saddles i want the batteries to start charging so there we go as soon as possible because nighttime is gonna fall sooner or later so might as well just connect everything and by that time hopefully the battery will be somewhat charged battery charge is important i mean it's not technically a live or die situation because you have your rover which can dub as a mobile base but if you do that i think it's actually very good it will give you a good start anyway there we go and there we go connected i could be building another small solar panel just to show you how this is being built but i'm gonna refrain from that at the moment <laughs> all right and now i want all the output from the solar panels to go to the battery pack that means that the battery pack is gonna get charged so that's done we have built we need to build four solar panels and we only had three that means we need one more and we can use that by building the blueprints so hold on electricity oh we have something to unlock okay let's go with lithium ion batteries converters new blueprint and here we need to basically build at least one small solar battery i'm about to do that so blueprints electricity solar panel and that is the small one now we have put some medium ones so now i'm gonna be putting the small one and let's take the blowtorch to construct it there we go it requires some materials and once you have built it you have built a small solar panel now you can open up the socket and plug it in that would hopefully say four solar panels built okay check but check on that also that will allow us to go into the tech tree and research the industrial energy storage blueprint. and efficient photovoltaics blueprint. so that will allow us to build bigger solar panels okay this is by the way the tech tree and that one is used to unlock new cool things right now we have to talk about workshop and the basic rock crusher I don't know if I have the materials for those. I have to double check. Okay, workshop we have. We're gonna take it. It's funny how everything fits into the box. And box and small rock crusher. Perfect. So what I wanna do is the workshop will be the basis for our base. So we need some place where we have plenty of room to build. Down there, there are some rocks. On that side, there are some rocks. So I would say just here, next to the next to the pod we have some place so let's go and figure out what we can place here okay inventory we have the small rock crusher and we have where is the workshop the workshop and obviously we will need the airlock iris right so the workshop we should probably be placing uh, where is everything on that side okay it's on that side so close to the base so that we don't need to drag a too large of a power cables. I think something like that would actually work. Let's place it. Okay, and we need also to build a basic rock crusher. Now a basic rock crusher I'm actually thinking I want to be placing on this side so that I can get in with my rover. Rock crusher requires a lot of space to build as you can tell. So I'm going to be placing that one um, I need to rotate it this side okay it's not aligned the way I would like it to okay maybe like that that sounds plausible to me okay there we go and then we need to supply electricity to those basic buildings one thing I also want to be building is I want to be building uh, another transformer and that one will be going from that one will be responsible for powering all of my 
base components. So right now that would be the electricity transformer here. We can actually place it beside this guy. Okay. And then we use a blowtorch to build it. I'm going to go later on into the exact reasoning why. Okay. So now we have to power the base. So from the battery pack, we're going to open up socket and drag the cable. We're going to be putting, connecting that. And then another power cable. And we're going to be placing socket three. And then we're going to be correcting and connecting the lab. Now we have to power electricity to the rock crusher. And I'm going to do that actually directly from this pod because I don't want it to go through the battery. I don't want it consuming the battery power for that reason. So, okay. Let's hope we will have enough cable. Seems like we will. But not much more than that. Okay. Now we have connected everything. So what I want to do is now we have to tell how much power will be going to battery versus how much will be going to the rock crusher. Okay, so solar panels are producing 95 kilowatts and to the of these 95 kilowatts, so far 100% has been going to the battery and most of it still will. But I think I want, let's say 15 kilowatts and then we can actually jack this up to the battery right okay perfect uh, supply electricity to the workshop because battery is not putting out power yet it has 200 kilowatt hours so if i jack this up that it's putting out 50 it should suffice for now 50 kilowatts are going out okay 50.9 that's good enough so that makes sure that our um, here transformer you're gonna be putting entire output to the workshop so we have some battery spare and this is actually our main power setup so for the time being it works it's good enough now we need to build an airlock workshop printer co2 scrubber and small hydroponic shelves so we're gonna be building the airlock and we have an airlock already, so we just need to place it here. There we go, that's done. And now let's check for the small machines. Do we have something here? What do we have here? Hydroponic shelf, what do you know? 3D printer, that's the workshop printer. What else do we have? We have a workbench. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna need it for right now. CO2 scrubber, good. So we have basic and the plant incubator. So we have pretty much everything that we need. One thing that we don't have, which would be nice to get up there, would be a ramp. Let me see if we have that. Resources. Food. Living. Uh, airlocks. Oh, ramp we cannot yet build. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So... What we're gonna do, we're gonna be building the interior. So we come here and the airlock is automatic. The pressure out is being equalized to the pressure in, and then we can come in. Low pressure warning. Yeah, low pressure warning. Right now, this is the interior and this is the power distributor. I'm gonna use this side, the left-hand side for hydroponics and the right-hand side for the workshop area. So. What do we have? We said that we need to build a CO2 scrubber, plant incubator, and 3D printer. So I'm gonna be placing the scrubber first. Then I'm gonna be putting the 3D printer. There we go. And then what else do we have? Inventory, we need the workbench. And we have the, where's the plant incubator? I just had it, oh, there it is, okay. It's already prepared. So this is actually a workbench. And then behind this, I'm going to be putting the plant incubator. All right. So that takes care of everything. And then we need to build small hydroponic shelves. Do we have that in the blueprints? 
food. Small, large hydroponics shelf. Requirements, modification, greenhouse. No. Let's check here. Transform agra, medium solar panel. Do we have a battery upgrade? Oh, we have. Let's check if we can do first the battery pack upgrade because that is always handy to do early on. Okay, we're going out. Thank you. I mean, it's always handy to do the battery pack upgrade the sooner you can. So, blueprints, battery pack upgrade. Do we have the materials? Yes, we do. We're going to build it immediately because that means we will be able to store much more battery. There we go. Uh, what is our current solution? Okay, now we have 500 kilowatt hours to, that we can store. And those medium panels will be doing that. All right, so small hydroponic shelves. Uh, I'm wondering, do we have that maybe? I'm going to go quickly check my capsule. Because right now we haven't taken everything from the capsule, if you remember. We have processed food, which I'm going to take. We have lots of those, which is good, meaning we don't have a pressure of actually... Okay, then we have a med kit. I'm going to take that as well. Planting tool, we will definitely need that. And then we have seeds magazine for planting. Okay, we have carbon dioxide bottle and air compressor new item i'm gonna make sure i take these and we have here some additional spare cables water gas and cable i actually might need these cables but i'm gonna store them and water gas cable can we have those inventory, full. Ah, inventory is full okay um tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna deposit a couple of those things in my rover because uh, Rover I can act up as a mobile base, so I'm actually going to get it quite closer to everything. The first day it is, so I'm not really pressured to go mining right from the get-go. However, we have some resources here, so we can actually print stuff. Oh, small hydroponic shelf. We do have it. Okay, it's good to know. Uh, I'm going to place now some things in the Rover. Let's say this first aid kit. There are two, so I don't need them really that much. Uh, planter seeds everything else I might actually need so okay I just went all the way to the rover just to plant some seeds okay that I guess that's a way to go let's take the inventory and uh, small hydroponic shelf that's the thing that I've been looking for okay by the way I like that the fact that it shows the flag I mean I think the flag is of the country where you're playing from so in my case, I'm playing from Sweden, which makes sense. So, okay, let's go and just quickly equalize the pressure and get ourselves self set up. Okay, so right now, small hydroponic shelf is actually going to be put here. New message. Hold tab to read. No more missions. You don't say. Beautiful. Okay. So that actually concludes the initial state of printing things and everything. I'm going to actually go out and I'm going to check quickly if we can build more solar panels because I think power is really important. Oh, the nighttime is coming soon. Okay, in that case, I think it would maybe be more beneficial that we build when it comes to resources the pump station pump station will make sure that we have water so um and other gases obviously so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna place it low it's it acts like the transformer but for the water stuff so there we go and let's build this it's all about making sure that the power is okay pump station perfect so now I'm going to be connecting the power out or the water output. We connect the water and I'm going to turn on the flashlight because it's getting really dark. We will need this to build our hydroponics, which would probably be the next step. So I, I am assuming now because I've played a little bit, but not too much. So 
we want to get our plants going as fast as possible it's a matter of survival so might as well put things here okay connecting the water plug so there we go and then we want to define how much are we outputting so the well is inputting 177 liters per hour and uh, it's outputting 88 liters per hour and there is split i'm gonna put everything right now to the to the well okay that actually settles it it's getting dark so i should probably get going and i will gonna go into my rover let's see if there's anything else that i don't need at the moment that i could be dumping there are lots of resources that i could be dumping there so i'm gonna go oxygen and source external oxygen source external let's turn on the flashlights headlamps top on left lights on and back lights on just to i mean we look like a freaking christmas tree probably we don't need all of those but for the time being i'm gonna roll with it because it looks cool i'm gonna set ourselves in the transport mode which typically means that it stores this crane and we can start moving i'm gonna move over to my pod I haven't done anything yet so basically i'm gonna move over to the pod and then we're gonna probably go and grab some sleep so there we go just next to the pod so we can make sure that we pick up everything okay it's uh, 7 50 so soon enough it will be sleeping time the temperatures will be dropping quite significantly quite quickly so I want to be picking up the water and gas cables. Okay, there we go. Those I might... Oh, and we have a fire extinguisher that I might... Oh, no, 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 don't use that right now. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go into the rover and it's time for a nap. Okay, rover. No, 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 I don't want to damage the rover, so... I'm, I have to practice putting things away. Now, fire extinguisher, I have... Okay, here we have water and gas cables, which I'm going to be placing here. And usually, if you want to remove stuff from your inventory, you first have to physically remove it. I think it's getting cold, so might as well close the hatch. Warning. Oxygen source. External. Warning. Expect a significant temperature drop in one hour, Like like I said. So we are here and what we're gonna do, we're gonna also consume some food because we're hungry. Food rations, we have plenty of those, 53 food rations. So I'm thinking four. I'm gonna refill my oxygen. I'm gonna consume some water. Okay. Yeah, hunger, hydration, oxygen, we are pretty good. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove I have lots of cables in my inventory. I'm gonna move them away from here. And fire extinguisher, I don't need. Air compressor, I won't need. I will need the jackhammer. And I will need the grinder on the list of my tools. Spectral detector. Analyze the composition of rocks. Okay, that's handy. I'm gonna actually take that as well. Good. So, final thing. I just wanna transfer between my inventories. And these are these power cables which i don't need tools air compressor planter seeds i will need that later on and then this is the fire extinguisher warning alert sleep deprivation warning get some rest so see the game is forcing us to go get up to sleep and since i'm such a sleepy head i'm gonna be sleeping until the eight o'clock in the morning it's important to get some good night's sleep right going to sleep in our rover we have a bed so yeah feels almost like mark watney right and there we go look at this beautiful animation while the night is coming and until the day comes low temperature warning 75 percent yeah one thing that i forgot to mention oh stretching morning fart all right yeah a good way you also save the game that way and the good way how to recharge 
is to stick your head into the power plug, apparently. So, okay. Battery charge to 76%. Charge suit. Suit recharged. So, as you can tell, it is a new day, and I'm just going to kill the batteries so, so we don't drain our batteries. They were basically all night, so it did drain our battery to a degree. And in today, we're going to do some mining with our small base and some planting. But that's going to be happening in the next episode. Guys, if you liked today's video, do hit that like button and it helps me out a great deal. And thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the playthrough and I will be continuing. This is Groundfork signing off.